is it about you that you won't let go of your ex-husband? You're divorced, Blair. Like it or not, Todd married me. <laughs> we'll just see about that now, <laughs> won't we, Diane? <laughs> what do you care, huh? And don't give me the truckload about your kids, because I'm not buying it. That's my good girl. She was just thirsty. Babies can't talk. They could only scream. So you have to do the thinking for them. Are they wet? Are they hungry? Are they cold? You have to go through a list. Well, the star said she liked the sippy cup, so I didn't even offer her the, the bottle. She just kept crying. I just wanted her to stop. I know. You just have to get used to it. Um, I'm sorry about the mess. I had midterms this week. But thanks for the vacuum. You must respect your new home. He will, Ernesto, in time. I, in, I'm the messy one, actually. You have a lot on your plate, young man. Going to school full time, taking care of a brand new wife and child. It's not easy. We're, we're not. I mean, you start this with her mom. So you're taking care of the baby, you and Marco? No, I'm, I'm babysitting. Hope lives with Star. I don't understand. Isn't she your child? Oh, yeah, 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 of, of course. This Star is not out of high school yet, and her parents still want her living with them. But she's your wife. Ernesto, Cole, and Star are not married. Daddy, how did it go? I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you'd still be here, Mr. and Mrs. Rivera. You have a lovely child. Yeah, forgive me. I, I don't understand. You have a child, but you were never married. And you have a, your own keys to my son's apartment? They, they haven't charged me yet, so it could be hours. Uh... Yeah, well, I really don't care if it takes weeks, because, you know, something I've let you down before in the past, and I'm not, not going to do it anymore. I'm not going anywhere. So whatever it is, you can count on me, OK? You just ask. Look, look, Jerry. I am the last person in the world who would ever judge you. And I know pretty well how complicated life can get sometimes. So if you have gotten yourself into something here that you can't handle, you just say the word. And we'll find a way to work it out. I'm sure that, uh same-sex partnerships are the last thing on Vicky's mind right now. So I want to make that issue my own. When should we do this? Today. Carpe diem. David, would you notify the staff and alert them? Oh, oh, make sure that we have plenty of rainbow flags. And I will call the Alliance and set up the press conference. Would you also call some of your gay friends? And I want to make sure everybody knows I'm just as liberal as Vicky is. Count on it. I don't expect you to understand any of this, Taya. It takes a mother to appreciate how I feel. But yes, I told Todd that you were lying, that you lied about Ross, because I was concerned about my kids. That's right, because I don't want a two-timer taking care of them. But first of all, I resent the implication that I don't know how to love your children because I'm not their mother. Second of all, you could care less who looks after your kids. You left the staff to look after them when you went running around the world after Ross. Star and Hope were almost killed when you were oh, gone. OK, you know what? I'll own that. Oh. I, uh, I won't deny that I went an extra mile to find Ross, but I had to prove that you were lying, and I did, didn't I? So why don't we start there? All right, here we go. You're a liar. I'm a mother. And children need to be around adults that they can trust. Your children trust me. All oh, right. You lied to Todd. You lied to their father. What makes them think that you're not going to lie to them? Jack and Sam could care less that I was married oh, to Oh, you Ross don't Rayner. know anything about children. You're way too selfish to ever love a kid. You are so wrong. This is Cole's apartment. Uh, his mom pays the rent. I'm lucky to be living here. And Star and I decided to wait to get married until she graduated high school. We thought it was the responsible thing to do. For hope. You're obviously very caring parents. You want what's best for her. As we want the best for you, Marco. I know that, Papi. 
We've missed you so much. Oh, well, I've missed you guys, too. So tell us, how's school going? Tell us, tell us about your classes. I watched your show in the film you made. It's great. Oh, I'd love to see it. It's huh? just a yeah. short film. Your mother would like to see it. OK. Well, uh, we had to make a three-minute film about something we love. <clears throat> This was so fabulous. What a great idea. Deciono with the people. You memorize a little Spanish. You think they'll vote for you. Oh, they'll vote for me. And after today's press conference, I'm going to steal the entire liberal vote away from Vicky. If you have a press conference. Of course I will. Amelia's arranging it now. Well, Amelia is arranging something. What? I don't know. Hey, you. How's it going? Perfectly. I told you we'd be starting part two soon. What's soon? This afternoon. Dorian is hosting a press conference at La Boulay. That's fast. Uh, does she have any idea what we're planning? Not a clue. I just want Jared to be free of this so that he and Natalie can go home. Well, I wish I could help you. I do. I know you still care about Natalie. She wouldn't agree. Well, you know her. She's loyal to a fault. Hmm. I just hope you find out the truth soon for all of us, please. I'm surprised you don't have Jared locked up in a cell. Sweetheart, John is not the enemy. Neither is my husband. Son, we can get through this. Together. Dad, I need your help. Lawyer's on the way. Oh, you talked to Taya? Uh, no, I couldn't reach her, but the guy we got, he, he's highly recommended. Is your mom still outside? Uh, yeah. I promise you everything is gonna be okay. Natalie, I've been lying to you. What did he say to you? Not much. Oh, so you think you know what it's like to have a child just because my kids like you? No. Well, then what is it? Oh, did you read a book? Maybe How to Be a Stepmom, 10 Easy Steps, huh? Very funny. Or is it just your natural motherly ways? Because I'm just really curious, Taya. With a woman like you that is driven and a man eater, obsessed, I mean, how does she know what it's like to love a child? You don't even know why she liked I don't need to know. Yeah, but you should give her a chance to explain. I mean, there might be more to it. You don't love her enough, because if you did, then you would know she had a good reason. And then you would you would give her a chance to explain it. How do I know what it's like to love a child? I have one. <laughs> 